So I'm here at Web Wheel today. I'm here with Byron. We're standing in front of some watch on 650s. And this is on what they call their high volume line. And you were saying something about the whole reason you went with watch on for this project. Can you share a little bit more about what that decision was? Sure. We, uh, we're always looking here, Arthur, to innovate, uh, keep moving when it comes to web wheel, being able to produce products at a good rate, valuable to our customers. So looking for the next innovation that was out there in our normal machining processes, the X axis in any BTL product is the first thing that we wear. Yeah. And we start to lose consistency and quality when we start to wire the X axis in the machine. So in looking through these processes, uh, Washon came to the table for us and offered a solution that removed the X axis movement from inside the work area. And they moved the entire column in the back of the machine, taking it out of the swath and dunnage area of the chip coming off and contaminating the work area. Yeah. So now that you've got that, you don't have to worry about the wear out of the machine. So how is the rigidity, like when you're programming these, do you have to pull back because of that change or what does that do for your cutting conditions? No, we're much better for the same exact reason. The rigidity of these machines have helped us out quite a bit, especially from the automation side of it. When we're looking to put these machines in automation, uh, we're looking for the ability for it to stand here and run pretty much without an operator here with it. And the rigidity allows us to have automatic gauging inside the equipment yeah. And we have probes inside the machines that Watch On also helps us tie in. And it gives us the ability to have the t key components checked 100% for our customers. Okay, so the rigidity of that really helped us in that process. Yeah, now, which is, these are all great things to have in a machine. I mean, when you're talking automation, we've got the, the robot that's back here behind us. And you'll notice we're standing in front of the doors. But the robot still has access to these machines. There's actually, it looks like doors on the inside here. But when we're talking high volume, people out there may not realize what we mean by high volume. So this, li this line runs, what, two different SKUs? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we, we have the capability of running 12, yeah. but 80% of our volume comes from about three part numbers that we run over here on this high volume line. Okay. And do you know the volume of those parts right now? That you're this putting... line, the volume yeah. of the line, this line. Okay, as we're running, uh, we have six operators over here on this line on an eight-hour crew, and these guys can produce right at 1,500 brake drums every eight hours across three shifts being 4,500 brake drums in a 24-hour period. That's a massive amount of volume. Now, how many machines for those six operators? on this line. There's 12 machines total on this high volume bus. 12 yeah. machines, four robots doing material handling for the machine, and a robot on each end doing depalletizing and palletizing. So I know we're talking raw castings coming into the process and you know the pallets and the robots are they're doing all the hard work but how much material are coming off of these uh, off of these castings when they come in here? Off their own our high volume product line over here uh, we remove approximately 20 pounds of material from each break drum going through its process. Uh, our engineering department has done a great job of lightening up the product uh, with different aspects that the customers love. Uh, but if we do that, thanks to Watch On's help and the innovative product, uh, we do that in about a 2.5 minute cycle. <laughs> 20 pounds in 2.5 minutes straight off the casting. That's a lot of volume. So where do all, like once it's already all removed, where do all those chips go though? I mean, that's a lot of chips. All of our chips hit the dumpsters behind the machine. We take them out back. We have a system set out back that we load them into large 18 wheel dumpster yep. vehicle. Okay, we have, we've been very, very lucky and we have a company right down the road from us that manufactures counterweight for forklift and so we take the product down the road and sell it to those guys to make more product. So you're able to make money out of your out of your chips, you're able to be really green about it because now it's going a very short distance, it's getting repurposed into something that we need more of. It sounds like a great win-win-win. 
So, what do you think the future of this line holds? Are you going to be adding more watch-on machines? Yes, uh, we will be. You know, it's, it's all based off of volume for us. Yeah. But we're always going to be looking, always going to be looking for the next move up. Uh, watch on working with us continues to move with us every day. Uh, one of the greatest things since we started working with Watch On has been the fact that uh, we have challenged them multiple times with questions about uh, innovation. You know, can we do this a little bit better? Do we have an option of making this work on our line? And that group has been very fantastic working with us. I think at this point we're pushing up to possibly 12, 13 major items that I would call them that they have came in and worked with us and made improvements to their machine to help us and them succeed. Well, that's a, that speaks a lot to the power of partnership when you when you see the value from Watch On as a company. They're willing to work with you. They're willing to support you. There's a reason why you've been working together for 10 years now and you know, you're up to like what is it? 47 of the 650s and you got a couple of their other machines in the works and a couple more on the floor. There's a reason that you all keep working together and it sounds like the answer is we just meet you where you are and meet your needs and help you meet your customers demands. Yeah, we, we consider ourselves very lucky to have partnered up with these guys. You know, it's always been an open door with us. A few text messages away at any time, you know, and we quickly get a response about a question no matter what that question is. Sometimes the answer is no, as it should be, you yeah. know, but the, the door is always open for us to ask the question and they're willing to work with us, no matter how odd the question from our end may be. <laughs> but that's an important point. And in a partnership, you don't want them always saying yes, because that means they're saying yes when they really shouldn't. That means they actually value that because they're willing to tell you no, which is never a fun thing to do. Awesome. Well, Thank you very much.